In this video with the OnKing, I'm going to show you how to use the OnKing overhaul for step two. Uh, specifically, I'm going to touch on a few things here. The first is uh, the Dorian Zonki step two overlap. Those are the two decks that I used as a base. The next is the step one, step two overlap because there's a significant overlap between those two. Uh, along with how you can organize things using filtered decks. This is important because everything is organized using tags and not decks. So here we go. Okay, as you can see, I've actually got the step one and the step two deck here. These three decks, let's see, LOL, Zonky Farm, and Zonky Step decks are the step one, and then Zonky Step 2 and Cheesy Dorian are the step two decks. Uh, now I'm going to go to the browser and try and explain to you what this overlap is between step two, the Zonky Step 2 and the Dorian deck first. Um, if I click on the Zonky Step 2 tag, you can see there's about almost 6,000 cards that uh, Zonky made. But if I click on the deck here, you can see there's only 1,200. And that's because Cheesy Dorian, uh, or the original Dorian deck, actually used a lot of those Zonky cards. So uh, I put the rest in there and I tagged them because I think that Zonky's tags are quite helpful. All of his stuff was based off of UWorld, whereas some of the Dorian stuff is to help you do really well in the wards, but not necessarily on the boards. So anyway, that's why I did that and we'll be sorting through duplicates and stuff as we go. Now the next thing is the step one and the step two overlap. Now you can see I've got the entire step one deck here of 30-ish 30, 30 thousand cards. Um, now with the Zonky step two deck there's less but there's a huge overlap. And the way to find that if you have both of them installed is to click on the Zonky step one tag and then command or control click the Zonky Step 2 tag, and now it's gonna pull up all the cards that are in both decks. And the goal here is that if you've learned them in Step 1, you can keep those cards going after you've taken Step 1 and not have to relearn them for Step 2. So if you are taking Step 1, and or you just took it, and now you wanna suspend all your cards and enjoy your break, you would click on the Step 1 tag, and then instead of command clicking on the step two, you're going to, or command or control, you're going to command or control plus alt and click on the step two. And now it's going to pull up all cards in the step one deck that are not in the step two deck, the 27,000. And you would suspend all of those. You're done with them. Yay. That's exciting. And then the step two decks uh, cards would stay there. Now, the issue with this is there's there's a lot of duplicates that are not exact, and I'm going to try and find those, and I've got a lot of people that are willing to help. Uh, and so I just found one for the purposes of making this video, but this will be more in the future, and I've tagged it here. As you can see, in the Cheesy Dorian deck, uh, there's this card about Wilson's disease and copper. But in the Step 1 deck, there's this card about Wilson's disease. So ideally, you'd want to do this card and ignore this card because you learned it for step one. So what uh, I and many others are working on is we'll take the images from the step two card like this and I've hidden them here just because of copyright purposes for this video. And then I'm going to paste them here in the additional resources, I've already put it there, uh, uh, so that all of the step two images are here. And then what I'm going to do is take the tag and copy that and paste that here into this one. So that way, the step one card has everything that the step two card had, and now the step two card could essentially be deleted. It's no longer needed. And in future updates, I will tag those so that you know exactly which ones I'm now ignoring. If for whatever reason you're doing cards and you remember, hey, I, wait, I learned about Wilson's disease for step one, I would strongly recommend you go find the card in step two because there's, or in, sorry, if you find that in the step two deck, I would recommend you go find that card in the step one deck because that's ultimately the one we're going to use moving forward and continue to update and, and such. So uh, I realize that's kind of confusing, but hopefully it won't be too crazy. Now, the other thing, uh, just a tip here. You can see I've got an image in the lecture notes field. What I did is uh, some of you may not like that I'm putting these pictures down in the additional resources field because when you're doing the cards, it pops up down here at the bottom uh, as opposed to in the top. Well, what you can do is I'm going to... I'm, I'm never going to update the lecture notes, miss questions, Pathoma, or Boys and Beyond fields. Those are yours to use, and you can protect them using the special fields add-on when you update. Uh, I would recommend you go watch this video to understand how that process works, even if you aren't updating right now. It's important to understand things uh, from the start. But essentially what you could do is take that picture and paste it up in the lecture notes field just so that it shows up a little bit earlier on 
or, or higher up in the card when you're reviewing it. The other option is to go into the card styling here and edit your card styling. You can see I've got lecture notes at the top. You, if you really wanted to, you could take this additional resources and, and copy and paste it up here to the top or, or wherever you wanted it. Uh, and I, I have a video here on how to customize the card styling. I'm going to link all of these videos I'm recommending in the description of this video just to make your life easy. Uh, but this talks about the card styling and would help you with that. So that's those are my recommendations for using the step one deck uh, uh, in combination with step two. And I'll be really good in the updates log about noting what tags we're adding to things so that uh, hopefully it's a little more clear. Um, so, you know, clear as mud at this point, right? All right, next thing that's really important is how to use the custom filtered decks. <clears throat> now, this is ultimately going to be just one deck. Uh, same thing with Zonky Step 2, just one deck. I'm actually going to delete all of these sub decks, uh, I think, because everything is organized by the tags here. And it works a lot better because, uh, for example, if there's a card that is in the Family Medicine deck, but it may be relevant to Internal Medicine and Neuro, it's going to have a tag for all of those, uh, which I think is really important. So as you can see, there's 10,000 cards here. Uh, 11,000 cards here. It's just a, a big difference. There's a bunch of duplicates um, and, and that's why I decided to use Cheesy Dory and they did a, a huge update. But what I would recommend, and I'm going to show you an example here, is to use the custom filter deck so that you can sort out, for example, if you were on the internal medicine rotation, you could sort those cards out in your deck browser here um, and then you would be able to see exactly what's going on. Now, a very important part of that is the Anki V2 Experimental Scheduler. Uh, this, you really need it if you're going to use the custom filter deck. So I would recommend getting on that. Watch this video so that you understand uh, why I recommend it and how to get updated. And then the custom filter decks here uh, that uh, also explains how to do that. So, and then I'm going to go back here. So I'm going to show you <clears throat> what I would recommend. Now, I'm going to click on the internal medicine and then I'm going to shift click on this one and it adds an or right here you could actually manually type it if you really wanted to but these 4500 cards are all of the cards that are related to internal medicine so i have an add-on here it's a nifty add-on that allows you to create a filtered search based or a filtered deck based on your search and i'm going to base it off of that and it'll pop up here and i'm going to limit it to 99999 i want every card to come and it's going to pull out all cards that are due and i'm you can do it however you want here and you definitely want to reschedule your answers. We'll build that filter deck. It's going to pull out all of the internal medicine cards. So I'll rename this to IM. And that way you could search, you could do this as your main deck every day. And then this deck would be your cumulative reviews of everything else as you're preparing for step two. Uh, now, the other thing that I would recommend uh, that I've heard from some uh, upperclassmen is sometimes it's nice to cram all of those cards in the day or two before. Now, you definitely want to be doing them over the course of that rotation, but you could cram them in just as a really quick study because there's not a lot of them. And the way to do that, you're going to go to Options, and you want to want to delete this is due. You just want all of those cards, and you don't want to reschedule them. And then you can add your own custom steps of whatever. If you wanted to do it over the course of two days, you could add 1440, whatever you wanted. Um, but I would recommend doing this kind of as a cram session. If we rebuild it now, all of those cards are cram, but it won't actually apply towards the scheduling uh, in terms the long-term scheduling and preparing for step two. So hopefully that's a little clear on how those things work. Um, like I said, Go through these videos. This will be really helpful as you're trying to learn this. And uh, I will be very detailed in my documentation of the decks to help you guys. So good luck with step two and all of your shelves. Thanks for learning with the On King. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here as well as follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Patreon. That is at On King Med. Also feel free to reach out via email or check out our website, onkingmed.com, for more tips and tricks.